it's Saints and it's the Bears in white. And Sheedy hoists it into the smoke and then it was punched forward. Alfoa, Frisch, Randrandra and Vui and now Thaka who's got plenty of toe and he's got Randrandra up in support and Thaka releases Randrandra and two sides built for running rugby with Bristol scoring the first try. Harry Thacker has got some history on this ground of uh, showing a clean pair of heels. He's just shown them to Tommy Freeman then, one of the quickest players on the Saints team. Incredible really from Bristol. They've gone wide, yes, wide from off a scrum. You can jump as, you're a kicker. as long as he stays on side. Matt of Hasey, Ratuni Uruawa. Oh, and then Hutchins, oh, gliding run. Magnificent, and they're celebrating 15 metres out. That was glorious. Try scored by Tom Collins. He's got another. And it is another thing of beauty made in the East Midlands. Rory Hutchinson at times does things that look so easy, but they're just not. Will it be to himself? No, it's to the front and Augustus. Ludlam, Mitchell, and then Dingwall. Ludlam, a link back round and it was for Laws, and this time the try is scored by Hutchinson. It's simple stuff, but right now Northampton are unstitching Bristol's defence. It's the exact same play that Northampton did take advantage of early in the game. It's the exact same play that we said Courtney Laws could have tipped, and he didn't. This time he does. The same holes there in defence. Jake Heenan took it on initially, now the spread of the ball and Frisch got it away so quickly and Sheedy and Piertau, a little bit of dancing, manages to get it wide and the try is scored. Sheedy's there and a patient Bristol and in the end a brilliantly executed try. Yeah, Bristol Bears play an all-court game, they really do, they can, they can play in a variety of ways and all of a sudden they've decided they were going to play tight. Shake to go left, switches right, bigger, whips it away, and then Furbank and now Ludlam. It's back inside towards those softer shoulders. Ludlam popping his legs. Oh, that is magnificent. All oh, power and determination after the same switch and bigger's vision. And it's another one for the scrapbook. Euron. To peek out his right hand side to see what's doing. Luke Morahan offers the, the widest threat right out on that right hand touchline. At the moment, it's being kept in the shadows. Not much longer, however. Joyce. And then Thomas. And Thomas, with very few Saint shirts in front of him, was unstoppable. And Bristol come back. It's end to end. I mean, it, it's a bonkers game. I was joking with Fraser Dingle before the match. How many tries? I predicted eight. Saints seeking the bonus point try. And when we come to um, draw up the books at the end of the season, we know in the race for the top four, every point absolutely crucial. This is why this is big. Dingle and a strike scored by Freeman. Here's the ball into midfield, bigger out the back again, making noise. Rad Radra actually hits him off the ball, probably would have been a penalty. And that catch pass that Uju, Ugo spoke about, two, two little catch passes and they're under the post. We're just going to get it up to you now, Carl. Okay. Oh, it's been a doubly painful 30 seconds or so for, for Bristol and for Semi Randrandra, who looks a little bit puzzled by it all. Hutchinson, Dingwall. Oh, that sounded big, it looked big. Have a look. Let's so we've got a this. clear high tackle. Okay, Carl. Yeah. You just saw that, yeah. yeah so we've got the tackle. Contacts around the head. So it's Fitz Harding going in. And Dingwall coming down. It's number eight. So, so look, the referee starts off. Is there foul play? That's the starting point. You said yes. It's a high challenge. And Northampton sending an opportunity here to absolutely put the game to bed into the final quarter looking to finish it should finish it freeman collins scores and that's it
Still 20 minutes to go, but no way back for Bristol from this. And Saints continuing to tickle around the playoffs. Oh, hang on. He's not with us, he's just gone. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. I think Bristol broke down the short side. I think Carl Dixon said there was a line break and a, a one hand was extended and a deliberate knock-on for the other. Yeah, any deliberate knock-on which negates a, a line break. You can see there's two men flooding down that channel. No way through for, for Vui, but look at the Bristol hard work going into this. Randall flicks it away, fresh. That's nicely done. Eden clipped over the top by Morahan. And that's a wonderful score. Alapati Leua, they were dealing in fractions of seconds there, and Bristol nailed it every single time. Luke Morahan's handling off the back here is outstanding. This is the liner which gives them that platform. They get a good surge on, and then they're patient, really patient. But have a look at the time bought in and out of Morahan's hands to spin the ball 20 metres in the wet. The tenth try may yet be a Saints try. Clipped over the top by James. The bounce of the ball is not kind. The ball's had enough. Everyone's had enough. Crikey. That was an 80 minutes. Nine tries scored. So many other things to consider, to think about, to debate over the next 24, 48 hours.